Hello to the nation, Nick here, Tech. You guys have a little bit of a tutorial. Today's tutorial is how to stream Minecraft on YouTube Gaming. So for this, all you guys are gonna need is Minecraft, of course, you guys probably know where to get that, and OBS, Open Broadcast Software, which I'll leave a link to in the description, and you guys can go download it. It's a free software, it's super awesome, super easy to use, and I'm gonna be showing you everything that you guys need to know. Uh, so anyway, before I get started, I do want to quickly mention this is for PC Minecraft. If you guys want a console version of this video, make sure to comment down below, and I will for sure make one if enough of you guys wanna know how to live stream on YouTube Gaming from console. So if you guys want that, Make sure to comment down below. In addition to that, uh, if you guys are watching this video in the future, I might have a bunch more of these YouTube gaming videos, assuming that you know you guys want to see more of them. So make sure you click on the top right hand corner of the screen, that little I, or you click the links in the description to a playlist showing you guys about all the other stuff. Because all I'm going to be showing you guys is how to get uh, Minecraft to stream on YouTube gaming. I'm not going to be showing you guys any of the overlays or timers or any of the other cool stuff you can do. So that will be in future videos. But anyway, without further ado, Let's get started. So the first things first, all you guys are gonna need to do is go to your YouTube channel, which hopefully you guys have by now, and you guys are gonna wanna go to your creator studio or your dashboard. Uh, you guys can also just simply go to youtube.com slash live underscore dashboard, but you guys can just go to creator studio, go to live streaming on this little tab in the left-hand side, and you guys are gonna click stream now. I did do a, a video about events, uh, so you guys can click the link in the description or annotation on screen or the little eye in the corner to go check out that where I show you guys how to schedule an event this is just going to be how to stream now so how to just go live and live stream minecraft the process is very similar for an event but you guys can go check out that video separately from here you guys are going to be able to change your thumbnail put your titles put the game all that sort of stuff you guys can change all your stream options dvr stuff you guys can do your monetization you guys can set up your cards you guys can set up your fan funding your chat options all that sort of stuff change your thumbnail but uh all that stuff you guys can do that's separate how are you guys going to actually stream Minecraft? Well, you guys are going to need to install OBS, like I mentioned before, so OBS being here. You guys are going to go install that, and then you guys are going to pretty much only need this. This is the only thing that you guys need, the stream name slash key. This is a personalized password to your channel. Anybody with that password can live stream to your channel, so for obvious reasons, I'm not going to hit this reveal button. But for you guys, you're going to want to reveal and copy it. Once you guys copy it, you guys are going to go over to OBS. OBS is actually the software I'm using to record this video, which is why you're seeing this. When you guys open it, you won't see anything there, and in fact, it'll just be black. All you guys are going to do is you guys are going to go to settings, open up your settings. You guys are going to make it add a profile, and you're going to call it, you know, YouTube gaming, YouTube streaming, Minecraft streaming, whatever you guys want to call it. And you're just going to create that new profile. From there, you guys are going to go through all these tabs, and I'm going to try and do this very quickly so that you guys kind of uh, don't need to sit through like a 15 minute video, but pretty much you guys are going to want to at this point decide what type of stream you guys want to do. I would suggest starting off at maybe 720p 30fps, seeing if you can handle that, and then slowly making your way up. For me, I like to do 720p 60fps because for me 1080p just really isn't worth it, and I would rather get the 60fps than the additional resolution. That's just me. I'll leave a link also in the description showing you guys a chart that Google provides telling you what the recommended bit rates are for various resolutions and FPS, so you guys can check that out. So for me, I use CBR, and I also enable CBR padding. At 720p 60fps, I use the, uh, I think this is the sort of upper bound of the recommended bit rate, so that's 3800 kilobit. Uh, I have my audio at ACC 48 kilohertz and 192 uh, bit rate with a stereo channel instead of mono. Uh, so from there, we're going to go to broadcast settings. This is where you guys are going to need that little key. So if you guys see right here, the play path stream key, you guys are need to copy that and paste it there. Before you guys do, you guys are going to want to make sure you select your streaming service as YouTube. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure you select YouTube. I, I think by default, it's set, it's set at custom or Twitch or something like that. So make sure you guys select YouTube there. Um, so you're going to select YouTube. That's automatically going to be selected the primary. Uh, the backup is don't worry about that, guys. Just select primary. Uh, and then you're going to want to paste your stream key in here. That's a unique stream key just for you and uh, nobody else has the same key. So make sure that doesn't get leaked out either. Uh, you guys can also select custom, uh, auto reconnect if you want and any of the other options. You guys can select the file path if you'd like this to also record to your system, like your hard drive or something like that. If you want to have a recording for you, you guys can select that as well. You guys can then go down to video. For me, uh, my monitor is 1920 uh, by 1080p, so it's a 1080p monitor, so I like to have a 1080p stage, and then I downscale that to 720p. That's for you guys to decide whether or not you want to do something like that. For personal use, I like to do that. I think the downscaling improves the quality, but you guys can decide that for yourself. So I do that. I suggest you guys would probably do that. Uh, 
because it's a good idea. But anyway, uh, from there, you guys can pick uh, your 1.5 downscale if you guys are going to do 720p or no downscale at all if you guys are just going to do 1080 or if you guys are doing even lower, so 480p or you know 360p streams, then you guys are going to select the proper downscale. From there, the filter, I highly suggest just doing bilinear. It's the fastest one. There's really not that much of a difference between bilinear and Lanxos or whatever, so make sure you guys select bilinear. I use Lanxos. Uh, from there, I also pick the FPS at 60, so that's this is where you guys are going to decide whether you guys are going to do a 30 FPS stream or a 60 FPS stream. Uh, there's no like in between. It's either 30 or 60, and there's no higher. So just pick 30 or 60 depending on whether or not you think that your computer can handle it. From there, you guys are going to go down to your audio. Also, you guys can disable arrow, but that really only has stuff to do with desktop when you're recording your desktop. From there, you guys are going to go to audio, and here's where it gets a little bit different for you guys. So for me, I just have default selected. You guys can also select your speakers or your output device device for me default work so I keep it there uh, for microphone you guys are gonna probably want to use um, you know USB device USB microphone or for me it's microphone blue icicle because I have an XLR microphone um, which requires phantom power which I use my blue icicle for but uh, so you guys can select that for me I do uh, I usually do on the fly audio processing so because of that I use a virtual microphone which is this voice meter output so that's what I have selected so that's for you guys to decide really what's appropriate you guys probably just do microphone or USB device or whatever it is from there we're going to um, you know move down and go into hotkeys so uh, I'm just gonna click no because I didn't change anything hotkeys don't touch this guys I highly suggest not touching it just because I have started too many streams by accident because I have hotkeys set up for multiple things and I've hit F9 and I started a stream without even knowing it so make sure you guys don't do this I highly suggest not doing this anyway going on to advanced here's where kind of it gets a little bit more complicated again all you guys need to really know is what I suggest is setting your process priority to high so make sure you set your process priority to high the reason why I suggest this is just so that it's going to make your games probably perform not as well especially if you have a sort of mid or lower end computer but it will make sure that at the very least your stream is the best quality it possibly can be and for me that's what's important making sure that I would rather drop frames in game and then have have make sure that my stream is doing well. So that's what I suggest. You guys sit and decide whether you want it to be normal or whatnot, but that's what I suggest. You guys can have a scene buffer time of 700 milliseconds. That's just what it is by default, I believe, and I didn't change that. From there, you guys are gonna set your CPU preset. So by default, I think it's like very fast or faster or something like that. So you guys don't really need to change this. If you do have a really good computer, go ultra fast or, or sorry, if you guys do have a really good computer, you guys can go slower, like fast, faster, medium, stuff like that and if you guys don't have a very good computer you guys can go ultra fast and whatnot and it's going to improve um, your computer your computer is going to be running a lot better but your stream might not look as good uh, the encoding profile is high make sure 100 percent guys that you do set your keyframe interval at one two three or four i have it set at four make sure you set it at one two three or four do not set it at zero or the stream won't work uh, from there none of the rest of this really matters at all um, so we're going to continue on and I think that's about it because I don't actually use the noise gate but anyway we're going to hit cancel but you guys would hit apply and, and or okay and change all of those settings so now we pretty much have all of our settings ready that if we hit this start streaming button we would start streaming which is great um, so from there all you guys really need to do to actually get Minecraft on the screen which is the, you know the main point of this video guys how do you stream Minecraft is first of all you're gonna to want to launch Minecraft so launch Minecraft however you guys do whether you use Technic Launcher uh, or AT Launcher or whatever it is you guys are gonna go back over to OBS you guys won't see this desktop here like I mentioned before you guys are gonna go over to sources down here which isn't gonna have anything you guys are gonna go add and game capture and you guys are gonna name this something preferably Minecraft or game or whatever it is I'm not gonna name it anything just because uh, this is just a tutorial but from here you're gonna select your application and you're gonna select J A V A W Minecraft and then whatever it is so minecraft 1.8 1.7 1.6 whatever whatever the title of that window is you're going to select that and what you guys are going to want to do is um you guys are going to want to select stretch image to fit screen so you guys are going to want to select that uh now once i hit okay this whole screen that you guys are looking at is going to turn into minecraft just because i'm using this to actually record this video so once i hit okay you guys are going to see exactly what the stream would look like if you guys followed these settings so anyway uh you guys can also select any of these ones if you want but they're not necessarily that important and boom like i mentioned uh, we are going to have Minecraft be in full screen now and you guys can go and search and do all that sort of stuff You guys can jo go join servers and stuff like that um, But yeah, this is pretty much all you guys need to do and if I <laughs> if I select this boom It's invisible and we can see the desktop again, but anyway, that's pretty much it from there All you guys need to do is hit start streaming and you guys are 
off at the races streaming Minecraft. Hopefully you did enjoy. Make sure you guys slam that like button down below. Comment down below for any videos that you guys want to see, whether it's overlays and whatnot. If you guys are interested, this is what my streams actually look like. So boom, there we go. If you guys want to check out those, feel free to subscribe. But anyway, hopefully you did enjoy. I'm the doctor and I'm out. Bye.